Welcome to D20 Jungle! little wavy there sir yeah i thought i'd switch it up today you know what i mean like you gotta change oh, yeah. it up every once in a while you can't just otherwise people just get used to it you know what i mean yeah or they think you're just playing the same yell over and over and you're just that's a great that's a great yeah. idea why haven't i done that yet yeah yeah no instead you want to kill your voice every single time in fact yeah. can you give us one more yell because no i'm wanting to see how far you'll go on a sunday evening no i think i've gone far enough i think we should just uh, i think we you should have just begin never gone far enough don't worry I think I think this is the this is my limit. I reached it. I'm done. Never again. <laughs> Fortunately, while you are capping out, we have some wonderful entertainment tonight that's just revving up. So let us begin as we welcome our acolytes into the dread fortress. Its castle stands amongst flaming volcanoes angry in nature rumbling constantly giving this beautiful soundtrack of disruption you hear the grandmaster lucia charging down the hallway once again bursting through the doors and what is it that she finds the shadow king doing the shadow king stands in front of a hot smoky grill flipping a rack of ribs what what are you doing you know we have a kitchen right like a full floor that is an entire kitchen why did you bring it up here well it's why not this is my this is my throne room i could do what i want with it if i want to cook a rack of ribs or a brisket for now it's there's no reason hey, sorry what was that nothing what are you making uh, ribs you can see that how are you making those ribs I'm smoking them low and slow. Okay, good. Sauce? Yes, of course. What kind? The only kind that matters. Which is? The Kansas City sweet sauce, obviously. Thank you. you can keep this whole Everyone forever. knows that. Everyone knows Nobody that. likes vinegar, that vinegar sauces. Vinegar stuff, none of that mustard base, vomit everywhere. Good. At least I know we're still somewhat related for a reason. Yes, I'm, I might have killed your friend and taken over this, you know, your throne and your empire, but not a monster. All right, well, at least we all have standards. Of well, course. good. Perhaps this will help feed our wonderful champions that I brought tonight. I assume this is, what, the uh, pre-cookout? What is it that they do around the yelling football thingy? Uh, uh, tailgate? Tailgate, yes, whatever it is. They all dress up in cosplay and they go wild for men, whatever. So hey, this is on... uh, this is unfortunate because this fellow here had a tail. As he points to the rack of ribs. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready for this. It's fine, whatever. Very funny, very funny. Ha, ah, he had a tail. All right. Well, I hope you're ready to share some of your ribs this evening because I did bring you two wonderful champions. Are you ready for it? Yes, oh, of course. Daddy. Bring it on. Of course, of course. And she'll rip that amulet from around her neck, clasping it into her hands, cutting it as blood begins to pour down quite easily at this point as a portal opens up and in steps two champions, Daisy Bloom, beacon of village town and misery. Please, Daisy, introduce yourself to the Shadow King. <laughs> Hi, it was me in the background. Liz, maybe you cooking the ribs, and it's just that. And I wanted to say that my favorite sauce is ketchup, but I like. <laughs> I didn't. I think there might be ketchup and mustard in it at the same time. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm here. And I'm bringing the power of friendship and love and light because I am the beacon of Village Town, and and it's and I'm I'm very different from anyone like that that you've ever met because I I I have dead parents and a mysterious patron and 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 I've been chosen to save the world and that's never happened to anyone before. So here I am. <laughs> uh, can I kill her? No, <laughs> no, you cannot. A wonderful beacon. I'm so grateful that you've graced us. Misery! Yes. What are you doing here? What 
are any of us doing here, really? You know, I've heard that when wine goes bad, it can be repurposed to make a vinegar, some value from what is lost. But human souls, they aren't like that. When they're spent, all that's left is, well, I know all too well. And as Misery kind of like turns to the side, uh, a black butterfly kind of brushes down and he holds it on his finger and he looks at it and he snatches and crushes it and spreads the dust down. Uh, See, this one I like. That wasn't your familiar, was it? <laughs> Sorry. That feeling of hurt that you're experiencing, hold on to it. Better to be sad and cry than feel nothing at all. Well, that's fine because this makeup is not makeup. I was born this way. This is, this is how I look. And I, I brought here to you today the power of love and friendship and 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 you you can you can go through 15 more butterflies because at the end of this we're gonna be best friends <laughs> well best friends or you might die trying we'll find out in the arena you know if they won't be your friend Awesome. Though I will say for Misery, you made a good point. Oftentimes I would prefer a bottle of wine over some human beings. Specifically humans, though. Humans are somehow the worst at times. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I mean to cut you off? Did you cut me off? Anybody? Sorry, I was reading faces, but apparently I was actually looking at a goblin. It's fine. The Grandmaster's just losing her mind once again. Listen here. This is meant to be a battle to the death between the two of you. You may bring your friendship, but be sure to smother them in friendship if you get my drift. <laughs> was that a joke or is, was that supposed to be funny? No, it was, it was just... How did I get here? You were chosen. Uh, Remember, Beacon. Remember. I know, I know, I know. It's just, I've been, I'm just, I've been chosen so many times now that it's just, it's a lot. It's very overwhelming. It's very overwhelming. Don't worry. This might be the last time you're chosen if you don't make it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she left at that Wait, one. What? <laughs> Take them right to this battle. Shadow King, are you ready to go or do you need to spend another five hour hours smoking those ribs? No, uh, they're done. I've got them. Uh, snaps and the goblins, wrap them in a towel and put them in a cooler and take them with us. Would you please be kind to at least share some with our champions? Ooh. You guys want some ribs? Well, I'm, yeah. I no longer experience any joy from food or drink. Well, I'll have yours. Uh, good, more for us. That's fine. The, go <laughs> the goblins bring you all ribs, <laughs> except for misery. Clearly, clearly. <laughs> Every the, the, time I finish one, I put the bone in my pocket. Nice, make a, make a broth with that. Yeah, the whole point of this is like, if you don't have barbecue, you're miserable. That is like the through line for the today's episode. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is very true. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. yes. If you're feeling a little down, find yourself some barbecue, friends. This week, we'll promise you, will help a little bit. You can barbecue anything. Or anyone. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have another barbecue by the end of this battle. All right. What a way to go. What a way to go. Let me take you to arena and she'll grasp that amulet once more blood dripping down her other forearm as a blue portal opens up please let me welcome the two of you to a beautiful beautiful place and as you walk through hearing the term beautiful you expect to see some luscious land with flowers all around instead immediately as you breathe in <gasps> that dust gets inside your mouth, coats your throat. You can feel it rattling around your lungs immediately. This 
is one of my favorite escapes. A little place where they've done a little excavating here or there until they found something that they really shouldn't have dug up. And that's why it's abandoned today. So, as you find yourself here, maybe you'll dig up a few other things or dig deep into each other's own flesh and bone to discover something true, something treasurable, something worth keeping. And as you see her, her arms point up and you look towards the sky, noting above you massive acolytes cheering readily for the battle yet to come. This is who you tell your tale for. For whether you may be buried here by the end of the battle, they will remember you nonetheless. So make sure you are known. Let them feel who you are in your truest form. Unleash it all on us today. This is starting to sound sexual. So at that point, her wings open up and she immediately shoots up towards the sky. Shadow King, I allow you to take care of the rest. Uh, we're just getting to the good part too. Uh, uh, very well, champions. You will oh, spill yeah. blood here today for the acolytes. In order to do so, I need you both to roll me initiative. Very oh, well. man. Oh. But I just met you, and I thought we were going to be friends. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, well. A 20 for Misery and a 19 for Daisy Bloom. The two of you have certainly come prepared. Do you have any opening lines for the two of us? <laughs> yeah! Let's dance! Yep, very well. M Misery looks up and says, words, wasted time. I'll show you why I'm here. And you follow through on your promise when this is done. Got it. Got it. Also, that all felt like a haiku there. Perhaps you should consider poetry. Poetry that is would a be so nice. waste of my skills. Who would enjoy it? No one. It would I only would. bring pain. Yes, I, I agree. Well, uh, uh, speaking of pain, round number one! <sighs> Misery. Ah, uh, Daisy. Why yeah. even bother? Friendship, happiness, sands in your fingertips. And as he says that, he drags his hand through the dust and he lets it fall through. And then he grabs the great sword from his back and upon you. He's quick, he's fast, he's deadly. I'm gonna start with an attack. I'm gonna shove you. <laughs> I'm gonna push you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I believe the strength check, right? Yep. Or the yep. attack roll. You can uh, you can roll you can do a contested strength to see how successful this shove goes. Excellent. I love that. Just a good old good old good old push. <gasps> little playground little playground shove. Not great, not great. An eleven. You can uh, you can contest this, Daisy. No, I'm not gonna. You're I'm not gonna. gonna fall. You're gonna fall, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna fall and like slide back a little bit and just. So that's how you want to play this. That's how you want to greet a friend. That's okay. Because I have all night and we are going to work through this together because that's what I'm here to do. I was chosen. I was chosen to bring you back from the edge misery and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I pick up some of the sand that fell through your fingers and I'm going to bring it close to my face and breathe it in. <laughs> <laughs> I can already tell that you're coming closer to my side of things and that's how we're gonna do this you can shove me all you want but I'll always get back up <laughs> you know I almost pity you so full of life jubilant one day it'll be taken away from you how then will you react what will you breathe in? Ash? Dust? 
or perhaps the Sting of Steel. And I'm going to use my extra attack. I'm just going to attack. Yeah. <laughs> Get after it. Clever. Oh, oh but advantage. Let's All try right. One more time. See if something will hit higher than a 13. Oh, we crit on 19. Whoa! Yes, we crit on 19. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. All uh, right. The this damage... might not last the whole night, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, oh. yeah. Did the damage not go? Uh, did you click the critical damage at the under the greatsword? In, the, great in the chat sword. log, there's a bubble that says critical. It's oh, above good, your. Tw- good, it's in good, the box above your twenty-eight. If you can't find it then. then oh, above twenty-eight. Where it says great. So there it is. There we go. You got it. No wait. Hey, no wait. Eighteen points of slashing damage. No wait. 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 Wait for what? Yep. Nah, I mean, I guess you can do it. She's <laughs> not a quick reader. We're gonna have to let it go. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. I'm gonna scramble back. I'm scrambling. Please. But do you know? Do you know why I'm scrambling? I'm sure we'll because, find out. Because I noticed that there was one place on the map. It's the only place on the map that has a little garden in it, and I'm just gonna crab walk to it. Hold on. Before you do, I'm gonna actually need a perception check from you. And we'll let Misery, if there's anything else for Misery's turn, before I give you that chance to crab walk to your garden, if you can see it over these two walls. That's fair. Unless, is it known? Can, can Daisy see through walls? Um, probably not. Okay. Just like potentially sense gardens. Don't feel, yeah, don't feel bad. Most people can't. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. But With yeah. the six. I'm you might like notice that, that there is a dusty butterfly that flies over that might be an indication that there is life here somewhere, but you do not okay. know where. But I saw the butterfly. You saw a butterfly as a small little bit of hope. Okay, well, that's like enough for me. Breathe in, breathe in. Misery, you made her chase steel in the first few moments. You kick sand in her face. Anything else that you would like to do? Any moments of wisdom you'd like to impart? No, Misery just stands there, stoic. But Daisy, you notice that throughout this entire time, maybe it was hard to notice, but up this close you can tell, Misery's been crying this entire time. A slow, steady stream of tears. Okay, I like it. As those tears begin to build up, some of the sand starts to land on it and get stuck, and it kind of builds like a small little mound. Oh, it's not cute. That's not cute. (laughs) Sand castle! (laughs) You have the option, should you need, if you continue to cry in the same place for too long. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. With Hmm. that, I'll I'll let you percolate that idea a little more in that brain of yours. If there's nothing else or movement that you would like to do, we turn our eyes to Daisy Bloom, beacon of the village town people. What would you, <laughs> village, village, town people, the, that, whatever, it's your turn. Wow. Well said. I'm just gonna start crab walking. I saw the butterfly. I saw it move past us and away. And I know in my heart that where a butterfly can land, only hope can grow. Ugh. And that's where I'm gonna go to draw my ultimate power. Art. And I'm I'm gonna go back. I'm going, I'm crab walking. I'm crab which, walking. Which way to going find the hope. Do you have anything that avoids an attack of opportunity? <laughs> I mean like definitely uh, other than being lucky as hell. <laughs> well we'll see if that pays off. And technically since you're on the ground. It'll be, yeah, that'll smack a lot harder. Yeah, it'll be at advantage. So, misery, however you'd like, as you see Daisy Bloom crab walk, you have an opportunity to smack that. That sounds weird, too. I'm just not going to say any more this evening. I almost pity you, but maybe I can grant you the sweet release of 
well. Ooh, I need those advantages. <laughs> yeah, you do. Woo! I certainly do. Mm -mm, mm -mm, embarrassing. Does, embarrassing. Does a 13 Ooh, well, hit? Well, no, it really don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just describe misery for us as you swing and miss. <laughs> So Misery's greatsword uh, dives into the dirt, and as as Daisy kind of crawls away, Misery leans down and looks at the blade, and just contemplates it, looks deep into it as if somewhere else, memories, memories, memories. I thought you were gonna go give us a full cat's moment there. I was, I, I, it did cross my mind, but uh, I think we can get taken down for that. Is that not we, definitely yeah, not we would have probably. Probably Without fair point. Extra. Just yeah. wrap it instead. Oh, great! Yeah, <laughs> that'll definitely not get us put in prison faster. Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. All right, Daisy Bloom, you've crab walked on over safely. May I add? Now that you found this tiny little cactus garden with pink and yellow blooms, what would you like to do? Well, the thing is, is I mean this is a place of great power for me so i'm gonna just like lay amongst it and not like maybe not touch it directly because these are have you ever touched a cactus like people out there in the world have you ever well i have <laughs> like a couple times and i feel like the first time you do it you should definitely be like never again but some you don't know like they're different there's different ones there's different ones out there like you gotta see you gotta test it out but this is like a dramatic laying amongst you know this you know this view this is mm -hmm. like a macro under the flowers we're zooming in there's like a breeze <sighs> hair and like petals some of the petals i don't know cactus it's got yeah. petals right there's flowers They're like in yeah. the air and like just like laying amongst them and just having a flashback of a time when things were better and in that and, moment, um, some of the acolytes do recall, yes, do not touch the cactus, and they yell out, some no. definitely hurt, and they're they're reminding you, don't touch the cacti! But it's just an echo in the wind as you have your beautiful, very vogue moment. Thank God for that. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna do this cool thing called Find Steed. <laughs> Uh, which is exactly what you thought I was going to do, right? Like, strategically, that's the safest mm -hmm. and most, like, intelligent move for this moment. But it is. Because what I'm summoning is a moth. <laughs> and, like, it's not big enough to ride. <laughs> um, but it does, make, it does make some light, which is really heartwarming to see in this place. Like, you know, it's nice. I brought a lot of lanterns, as you can see, but, like you need like that ambiance you need that mood lighting and the moth is here and it's got like a shitty bra on it that like it's not a bra but like it's a thing on top of the moth that i can like hold on to and like <laughs> and, and be carried but there's like maybe like six inches between me and the ground but i can be carried that way <laughs> does this take mm -hmm. both your hands to hold on to the bra apparatus unless i like get them both like a grocery bag Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That works. I, I see that visual. This mid-size moth drawn yeah. in by the light of your three lanterns and your glow stick <laughs> that you wield comes matching your aura, giving that beautiful faint glow light. And your steed that is not a steed now lifts you six it's inches on the ground. Your friend. Your friend. It's not a, it's a friend. Summon friend. Okay, when fine. you're in trouble, when you're in what, trouble. What's your friend's name? Uh oh. <laughs> you're, you don't even have a name for your friend, or is it named Uh oh? It has, he has its own name, and I'm gonna ask him for it. Okay. <laughs> Let us hear you speak moth. Well, I speak primordial, and maybe. <laughs> sure. It's <laughs> like. I'm, I'm speaking to it. I'm like connecting. We're connecting. We're like, we're coasting across the sand. This is like a, like a gliding situation. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you for coming to me from the beyond. I know you didn't have to. And, and this is such a hard time for me. And, and I've been trying to, to convert misery like for 36 minutes.
minutes already and it's just it's been really hard and but you came and i know together we have the power to do this and i just can i like i think i you look really familiar it's like can i get your name like have we met roll an animal handling check <laughs> <laughs> oh no so like that's my dump stat but <laughs> whatever man <laughs> It's, it's gonna be fine. You tell me you didn't Maybe you should have asked for their name before this. I mean, I'm yeah. not just saying. It's rude. It's rude. Hey, now. Like, what am I? This is what dreams are made of. As it senses your need, it answers you equally. Our name's Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great. I can already tell, like, you and me working together. Something amazing is gonna come from this. And the moth just nods. I'm here for you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me lift you. And you now go an inch higher, going seven inches off the ground. <laughs> Ooh, do you see that? Do you see that? That's what happens. That's what the power of friendship can do for you. <laughs> Believe it. That's it. And like basically all else, uh, the only other thing I can do is like two weapon fighting. Yeah. Which... Can you weapon fight that far away? No. No, I cannot. <laughs> you did use your movement to get over here. I did. And I mean, <laughs> I have a javelin. Okay. No reason you can't do that. Which I might throw at you, my friend. Because let me see, like, let me measure this with my handy dandy measure distance machine. Oh, yeah. oh my glob. It actually looks like I could throw a javelin straight at your head or your body. And <laughs> As a small note, Misery does have half cover from this wall because you keep forgetting that walls exist on this map. <laughs> I like how big is it? How big is the wall? Like, it's at least like a. Actually, it's a five foot wall. So, Misery, how tall are you? Maybe you have full coverage. Uh, I think Misery's a good, even six foot. Okay. Uh, I was going to write 6.66, 6, but so that just doesn't make any sense. Safe. Yeah, head you know. is not safe. You're right. And you know what? When you throw a javelin, you know how you go like, Poo, like over. Poo. Oh, yeah. Ar yeah, arc it. Yeah, arc it. <laughs> we'll do, we'll arc see, it. I've seen television. We'll do okay. half cover. Plus two to your AC on this one. I've right. seen. um... What are you? You're a cloth wearer. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> cloth wearer? Yep. <laughs> Let's what do an this insult. What an insult. You cloth <laughs> wearer. <laughs> you glob dang cloth Man, wearer. I, Get out of here. That, we, don't have, we don't let cloth wearers. Is that something new? Uh, what's wrong with cloth? I'm not, I'm not in the know. It's just that, like, if you could wear plate, it would be a lot safer. But if you don't, then I might throw a javelin, which is like a knife. Like a long knife? What could happen? Hopefully this. And I'm throwing it. I'm throwing right. it. Did it do it? It, it did, it. did no. not do it. Didn't do it, you guys, you guys. It's an not rolling for you. Oh, you guys. There, there go. it is. I clicked the wrong part of it. <laughs> you gotta click the right part of it. You gotta click the right part every time. <laughs> and it's just so hard. And it, oh my God, it's a 17. Seven, <laughs> 17 is good, but that cover to miss does it like <laughs> land nearby in a cute way i would hope so yeah I, Misery, I feel like I'll let you decide how close it is to you uh i think it's going to i think he's gonna do that like, cool anime thing where he just moves his head slightly and the javelin <gasps> like cut like cuts like across the cheek oh, oh god that's so hot Sorry, me and the, me and Janet are shook by that. <laughs> it's just it's so cool. All right. It's cool if I take a point of damage from it. Just seeing it. <laughs> no, it's it's good. It's good. I mean, sure. If you made want my, to do made that my to wig yourself. slip back. <laughs> it's almost as good as the one where you get like cut in half, but you slowly melon apart. Yeah, yes. that's yeah. also love that. It's ultimate yeah. favorite. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Anything else for your turn, Daisy Bloom? No, because, like, I didn't really responsibly use any of my stuff, so that's all I can do. Listen, 
Don't follow the rules of responsibility. Be free. Be free, Daisy Bloom of the rules oh, I, and norms I that am. everybody else has. I'm not I'm here for a good time, not a long time. That's the thing. You're like I'm I'm just here to like spread my spores, baby. Like Janet looks down at you. You be you. And winks at you. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> We're gonna live forever. 19. What the hell is this 19? Don't you worry about it. You don't worry about this, Daisy Blue. You don't ask questions, we ask questions. Yeah, don't ask questions, we ask the questions. Yeah. Okay. It's just that asking questions is like a really good way to learn. (laughs) You're not here to learn, you're here to kill each other. Shut up, Misery's trying to say something. I might be the embodiment of like misery and pain and stuff, but they're being super mean to you right now. Like, oh my totally god, thank you. I... Okay, you know what? You can shut up again, Misery. We didn't ask your opinion anymore. You know what? I don't like any of this. Round number two. I can't believe that they talk to you like that. Fight! <sighs> okay. Misery, it's your turn. Misery looks to the crowd, then looks up at uh, the, the purveyors of this battle and goes, Is this a mockery to me? Is this Ooh. some kind of sick joke? This is what you put me against? This cannot be over fast enough. <laughs> and Misery's going to slowly saunter over uh, past the wall, dragging that great sword through the sand. Ooh. You're now this there, will... face to face, nose to nose. This will hurt me more than it hurts Janet. And I'm gonna attack the steed. Janet! <gasps> Janet's it. it. too powerful. Well, never we'll work. see. Janet is. It'll never work. <laughs> oh, I uh... think it'll work. Oh, crits on Janet. Oh, oh man. rough. I feel. I, I. I feel almost bad. I feel almost bad. Oh, those. Those they one being rerolled. What's Janet's lot. HP? Whoa, probably like five. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. This is a lot. That that is going to definitely hit, taking those twenty points of damage. Please describe as <laughs> Janet floating in the air tastes your blade. So as the blade is being dragged and Misery finishes it, there's like a uh, like a warp, like a, a the the frame rate changed a little bit, and as a viewer, you're like not quite sure what happened there. But then the blade is uh, on the end of that strike, and Janet slides apart, but no blood Ooh. comes out. Black and white butterflies escape the body and they fly up and they turn to dust and blow away. Well, that, that dust continues of you. high enough into the acolytes in which they now are choking as they breathe in the dead mini versions of Janet. <laughs> The little Janet. Baby Janet's our ashy. The ash. The Janets, they get everywhere. Everyone's eating a piece of Janet's. Everyone? Have Everyone. Eat a piece? Yeah, like it just, you didn't have a choice. It went straight in your mouth. I feel like in a weird way, like, I'm just saying, I like, I think that that benefits me somehow. <laughs> you, we are I mean, all yeah. Janet. We have all now consumed some Janet in our lives. It's just that, like Janet was my friend, and like I summoned Janet, J- Janet, Janet to help me like feel good. Yes. And so now that you guys all have a piece of Janet in you, like in a way, it's like I'm empowered by that. Like I saw it and I felt incredible. I'm, I'm open to entertaining this. Please tell me a backstory <laughs> from. <laughs> From Daisy, in which she has eaten a dead friend and it has empowered her. Well, funny that you should ask, because in, in my youth, as a, as a scion of Village Town, I, I grew up alone and I was... I know you've probably never met anyone like this before, but I was an orphan. Not one, but both of my parents were, were killed in a horrible accident. And it wasn't really an accident, actually. It was it was like a really a bizarre planned thing by a supernatural force of evil, and 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 like it's a whole thing, and and it's been going on my whole life. And I was I was actually chosen by these like by this like 
alien to, to defeat them and and I was there when it happened and my parents were just like lying eviscerated on the ground and I was I was like three or eight like you, it was like hard to tell but I was there and I was I was between them laying in their blood just like thinking of how we were friends and how our friendship like really propelled us as people and we like developed and like I learned to be this like lethal fighter and I was really good at everything that I tried to do because that's like kind of how this goes and I just said to myself like Daisy you have to you have to get out there despite this and you have to bring friendship down upon the people that did this to your parents <sighs> and the blood of my family that I was just like laying in I just like turned my head and like lolled my tongue out and just like slurped all of the blood like up off the ground like into my body and then I I like popped up <laughs> like you know what I mean like pushing daisies <laughs> and I just and I just like zing and I was on. I was ready. Like, I just, like, a couple liters, maybe. Like, I just, there was, like, a lot of dirt in it. And I feel like that kind of helped because, like, vitamins and minerals, baby. And I was up. And I'm here. And I'm ready. And then after that, I, I took out, like, 15 villages. And I, I don't even think that they were all, like, a part of it. But they're gone now. And every time... I see a moth. It's like the only thing that calms me down because like they were there too and they drank some of the blood with me and like we're really tight about it. Yeah, uh, sure. I, 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 I like one of my little things fell out. I'm very it's, glad that. Uh, there we go. I'm really glad that becoming an orphan didn't make you like that. As he yeah. says to Alusia. <laughs> right. That's, I have it no plans on drinking liters of my family's blood. Good. Anytime well, you, good. you don't notice it when you're like laying in it, you're just like sponging it up. Well, your father you didn't bleed much. Or it, you really it, somehow you just miss you drinking kind of, like, it after leaders. a while. After leaders. a while, you like don't even really notice the taste. <laughs> and as it like goes through you, and you're like you're just invigorated by by like this. This is what's left. I can't even drink my one friend. liter of Seven Up, and you're drinking liters of <laughs> Whoa! Blood. Seven Up is freaking gross. <laughs> no, that's, seven Up's gross, but my family's blood mixed with dirt is perfectly fine. Okay, now, yeah. now, now I know the standards we're working with. Okay, seven clearly up. you <laughs> lost your mind. Get out of here with that Seven Up. You know what? I think I think you could have a D6 inspo for all that. Yeah. I think you deserve it. Yeah. Thanks. I think Misery, this entire time you've just been standing here listening to her retell her family story her, her moments of becoming what goes through your mind as you hear this adjust my bathrobe it's backwards Mis misery has you know flashbacks but we're too early on it's just like still frames of just like children laughing the flash of a blade uh misery kind of like at a grave like on his knees uh and then we're back here and Misery's just crying even more. Sandcastles building up at his feet. Jeez. As those sandcastles build. Are made. <laughs> and the dust of Janet is at your feet. Anything else, Misery? Uh, yeah, I have an extra attack, and I use this to shove <laughs> Daisy again. I'm going to try to push you into cacti. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Contest Roll that strength. strength. Woo! Right. Incredible. Incredible. Are you going to contest it this time, Daisy? Um, what? Let me like counter this. Let me ask. Let me say, if I fall into the thorns, just being who I am, could yes. I benefit from the thorns in any way? <laughs> no. Just thought I would. I check. mean, if taking Not damage is your idea of benefiting, then yeah. I'm gonna maybe. let you drink blood and heal from that, apparently, and the dusty ash moth. But I'm not right. gonna let you take a spike into your body like, and be like, "What yeah. is he damage is healing?" That's, That's absurd. Not, what if like, what if plant stuff like? But no. But here's the thing: like, you can push me into this cactus, like, but I'm wearing plate, so like, I'm countering. I'm countering. Okay. That's true. Counter. You okay. counter. You counter. Let's counter. And plus, let's, let's counter. not forget the acolytes have multiple of them warned you that cacti hurt. They did, and I like we shared that. We shared that. The moment. 
<laughs> but we're always forever curious. You know what I mean? Like you see a new cactus, you're like, mm, maybe not this. Maybe this is the one time. It's just like, oh, you get a new boyfriend, you're like, I can change him. <laughs> this time, it's gonna be different. But the cactus always gets you in the end, baby. Don't forget. Life lesson. All right. Oh, that's so, right. So, 18 uh -oh. to beat. Misery, you rolling hot. Oh, For my bit. glob. There were a couple pretty bad misses. <laughs> oh, my <Shh>. glob. <laughs> we control the stories we tell. <laughs> Six points oh, of piercing no. damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> As you get shoved into the, those cacti. Why yes. did the plate not help me? <laughs> it gets right into it gets right into all the joints of the plate, like oh. right where it meets, you know, like Delicious. right in the armpits and the, the back of the knees and stuff. Ooh, crap! This is like when you fall in snow and it goes in your butt because it got in your pants. Right? Yeah. Exactly. It ruins your whole life. Ruin your whole life. We've all quick. been there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so relatable. You've never fallen backwards down a hill and just <laughs> collecting it as you go kids laughing it's an oddly yeah, specific cool. memory cool. you got there really specific because it's real <laughs> i feel like there's so much to unpack there's so much to unpack there's a lot there's a well, lot that was like we last weekend you you keep that tightly wound up inside you we're putting duct it's tape already on you just, you just bury that TikTok. deep down inside and never let it out okay probably on just TikTok. push it way down there. there a lot of kids <laughs> anyway so uh, after this push, anything else, Misery? <laughs> Bonus actions, final statements. <laughs> misery takes one of his heels and he grinds one of the castles back into the earth and then looks to Daisy and just makes a bring, bring more. And that's you know my turn. How, you know how like I, I fell. I'm laying in the cactus right now, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This sucks. Um, <laughs> you can get up. You, you can get up. When you, you know looked how, into like, your future, laying... you didn't think like here I am, ass stuck but, in like, a But like you cacti. know how when you're in a cactus and you're just sitting there like, I could lay yeah. here and just die right now. Yeah, of course I know. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I could tell by yeah, right. like, just who you are as a person. Like yeah. I knew there was a time where you were once just like like in a cactus like a big one more, more times than i can count honestly hey like, that's like up free there. acupuncture okay once or twice well, a month even yeah i mean <laughs> yeah it could be but like you know you might but you got you got to make a choice what choice you making and the choice that i'm making is basically that like i was gonna lay here and cry but I came here to make misery my friend um, and it's not going well but I can do this cool thing where like I can attack twice instead of once whenever I take the attack action on my turn uh, and I have two war hammers and I can do two weapon fighting does that mean that I can smash misery four times no <laughs> damn it <laughs> well, <that>, what what <laughs> Can I at least hit like two times? You can hit two can times. Can you first yeah. get your butt off the cactus? Or are you just trying no, to like ride no. the cactus while hitting? I'm gonna bring it, the cactus with me, and that's what I'm hitting misery with. Now, okay. If you're using a light melee weapon, you could make three attacks, but a warhammer would, like, would not, not be. That heavy. Don't worry, I'm not using my warhammer oh. for this. Well, if you're if you're dual fisting time. cactuses, then I think you can make three strikes with that. Yeah. Wait, are you it. dual fisting or butt? This, no, but hmm? but it's where? Like I'm sorry, you. Are you what, were, what was it? What were you gonna say? What? What? But but what? what? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like. Go that. ahead, finish your question. Oh. Are, 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 like that. Okay, cool. Where are you? But what? Yeah, you got. What was that? What but? were you saying? But where was it? <laughs> go ahead. It's just this is. I feel set up. Is what I'm saying. I'm. This no, is not. I mean, are you wearing I them think... on your butt or on your fist? <laughs> you you made my hair go like sideways. I was like, whoa. Um, they were on my butt. Well, you can you can hit three times with the cactuses. We'll, we'll consider those cool. light light finesse weapons. I like it. Um, how would one do that? Go ahead and just roll a d twenty plus five. I will no That's longer a great be answer. DMing for the rest of this. 
That's fair, like a D. But you were class. this close to yeah, making a real yeah. good point. <laughs> cool. Uh, I feel like it's still pretty good. What'd you, what'd you get? Oh! oh. You know, I didn't. I didn't do the plus five. Sorry, right, twenty-two it's really... on the first one. Go ahead and roll all three of them if you want. We'll, okay. we'll math for you. We can math. That's so <gasps> nice. Seventeen's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna do it. Yeah. Third, did I see a nat one, one roll though? You no. did. Wait, who rolled <laughs> that one? Okay, look, just don't be cool about it. For, no, for the first. We're, we're not gonna be cool about Sorry. your first nat one. There was <laughs> a nat one rolled on oh, this floor. Oh, I see. So we have rolled three times the natural I one. Like, kinda, I was being like, eh, and I was hot. like, you know how you hide a pill in a hot dog? Go ahead and like go ahead and roll. Let's let's go ahead and roll the, the hits a first. Hot dog? No, you have to put pills in hot dogs for like dogs and stuff. And, yeah, you know, and for people whatever. when you don't want them to know. <laughs> I didn't say it, but no, but yeah. okay. 20. no, no, hard no, okay. hard no, okay. no. What if no? What if it's a vitamin? <laughs> Twenty-two hits. Sixteen will be a glancing blow, dealing half damage. Go ahead and roll two d six plus uh, two. Oh my glob! Oh my glob! Okay. Uh, so that'll be a three uh, and a two. Blech. So you're gonna take four points of damage with the uh, with Wait. the glancing blow. Misery. Ooh, me? Mis Misery okay, is. I was like, yes. Like, even but when I'm doing it, I'm doing it like. With a natural one, some of those cactus needles get pushed into your body as well, and you're gonna take six points of damage. <laughs> Whoa! You, you know what I should do next? You know what I should do next is yeah. heal myself. <laughs> so it's like you think little secret. You, you think about that, okay? Can I? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Oh, this sucks so much because like I've got all these stupid protection spells that I'm not using, and none of them are little healies. So you uh, you've now. <laughs> Swung twice with your actions and uh, bonus action swung a third time. Anything else you want to do? Yeah, I did it. I did it. And I'm like, I guess I'm going to like, can I sanctuary myself? You don't yes. have the action economy to do it right now. I don't no, believe. it's a bonus. You have already used your bonus for the third strike. No, I'm, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Two I forgot fighting. already. <laughs> Offering a little bit of sympathy. You know what? Maybe both of you deserve a little Heelys. In a quick moment, a little package falls down for both of you. And upon landing at your feet, it cracks open. And you notice inside, both of you get a pair of Heelys. Oh my God, I thought you were going to say you've got a new pair of underwear. And I was like, eh, what? <laughs> This, this does not change anything about your health or movement, but now you get to just describe yourself as Healy, Healy Ean across the sand dunes here. As the coolest kid in the hallways. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yes. Who doesn't want a pair of Healy's? <laughs> I'm, I am actually, I'm on board. And they but are light up. Have, yeah, yes. thank you. I was going to ask as well because it would be like really uncool if you cheaped out and got the ones that don't. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're the name brand ones. We're not gonna. Are you sure? We're like, not gonna great value heal you. Okay, because I mean, I would just, like it would be really weird and uncool if you did. Of course. Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, well, it's well, just like one of us is gonna die for you, and like you like been kind of weird, and like you're eating ribs, and like you, like you did give us some, but like you didn't ask like what flavor we wanted or like. I gave you the only flavor that's good. Yeah, but, like, there's style. a lot of stuff. Like we could have had like red or like could have had marshmallow or anything. Enough of this! Oh. No, oh. we're here for a fight. Put on your shoes, lace up, and get ready to rumble. Okay, but like real hillies are Velcro, so <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Thank you for pointing out that I've never, in my entire <laughs> childhood or adulthood, have owned a pair of heelys. Thanks, I didn't I'm have adult. that knowledge base. I'm sorry I didn't do my lore research on Healy's before this. It's like you really, I can tell that you've never seen Healy. No. <laughs> ah. 
I had to mute because I made like a really gross noise, but when I Don't laughed, worry, I, fu I full I full snorted earlier. It's fine. <laughs> I was like, oh, that sounds that sounds like sounds like somebody opening a pair of Heelys. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, like it's not too late. Well, uh, was there anything else you wanted to on. do? This is no, because the, gra the grandmaster it. just I'm upset not. both of you for not really showing great appreciation. No one even offered a, a thank you or a smile for the gift of Heelys. You know what? We're going to take a 10 minute break. I'm going to cool down. And when we come back, I'm bringing some chaos. Not only because I want it, but gosh freaking darn it, the acolytes want it too. I'm always smiling. See you in 10 minutes. I'm Welcome back, Acolytes from break. Hopefully you got the moth nachos. I'm feeling what? better now. The nothing! But they are actual moths, not nachos shaped like moths. Just so moth everyone knows, they were deep fried. <laughs> oh, that's the best way. <laughs> now that we're back, I want to welcome my champions to the arena once again, but I've brought a little gift for you all. You see the champions here, they go through a little bit of a challenge from time to time based on the beggings and desires of our acolytes. And she looks across, seeing them scream in your name. They've brought something, something very good. And in a moment, you just see the acolytes as if in unison, pull all of the junk out of their pockets and begin to throw them at you as we do an immediate game of dodgeball. Tell me, acolytes, show me in chat. What is it that you throw at them that they must dodge, that may hurt them, that may pierce them, that may bludgeon them or poison them, or who knows what else? I already see some popcorn, which is delicious, and that's very kind of you. And that also helps our sales, because you'll probably have to go back and buy more popcorn at the end. So thank you for that. But please tell me, what else do we see? Stinky cheese. Spaghetti? Your tax returns! Ow! We're unfinished. Somebody else has to do that. Some <laughs> records and hot dogs! There are 18 pennies, and I almost read that as a quite a large piece of shit, but it's lint instead. I don't um, know why Ombat would keep shit in their pockets. Sorry. Some raccoons, <laughs> also of varying sizes, suddenly get thrown out of pockets, and they fly through almost in a, a soaring figure where they latch on with their claws. Fish heads, cats. I don't know what that is. Is that confetti? Pineapple on pizza, moth nachos, all thrown at you. I need you both to make dex saving throws. Oh, oh no. All right, let's, let's, let's be bad together. Wow. We're slipping. Oh, oh yes. yes. Fish heads and... Four and eleven looks like both of those will fail. I couldn't tell with that dice. That was just, that wasn't a one, right? Like that was low, but it wasn't a one. I think it was a one. No, it ones. was a one. You no. rolled a nat one on this. Wait, no, no, it was a four. It was a four. I'm so oh, okay. It's a four. Oh, I, was six. Like, I couldn't tell. No, in the chat it says four. Yeah, it's a. It was a four was rolled plus zero. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, you have a plus zero. It looks, oh, hell yeah. Readers. Somebody's throwing have, Doritos. Yeah. Let's go. I have bad eyes, okay? So, let me know. It's really Sorry. hard to see from this seat. Mm -hmm. oh, you both take six points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, what the Roll frick? Rolled low. All right, perfect. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna have you know to start what? thinking responsibly. I'm disappointed in this. The Grandmaster seeing that those pigs and nachos and beer seem to be a little bit low. She will empty her own pockets. Dear Acolytes, what is in the Grandmaster's pockets? Oh, good And idea. she will particularly throw. You all will get to deck save again, but this time the saving throw will be higher because the Grandmaster is aiming at <laughs> you both. Hmm. Good idea. Here, take the rib Here. bones. I have words in my pocket. Hmm. All right, I'm doing some butt fisting, and I throw it at you all. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, watch uh, out how you catch that. Huh? <laughs> 
some dagger dice and squid and ramen come your way. Yeah, a 10 for misery. Misery! Oh man, okay. Oh. And, oh. and an eight. Oh. This is this is terrible. Another eight points of damage on top of it. Take that! This is for you, acolytes. I see you all throwing everything that you've got. I will not put. <laughs> Listen, forty man, you keep that box with a hole cut in it. <laughs> <laughs> you you save that for your special someone. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's What's, a really nice uh, box. I don't, what could be in there? Why can't Don't you throw the box? box? What's wrong with the box? What if it's like really cool? Like, let's just let's Don't open just the box. Back. What's the hole for? If everyone wants to know, 40 man, you are lifted up out of the stands and floated towards the Shadow King. Go ahead, oh. Shadow King. Open the box. <clears throat> Come here. Let's and, and show us. As he like, grabs, he grabs 40 with the shadowy hand and pulls him across. As Forty has a, a a nice present right there in his oh, present. It, show me what's in the box. And as the Shadow King lifts the lid, oh, it's just his dick. And he's going to <laughs> he's going to take his his other hand and turning it into a shadow blade, just just slice him right through the chest and rip out a black soul. He's going to throw his body onto the field of battle. It kind of fluts, uh, thuds next to the two of you on the ground. Just poof, and he's here. Let's spice things up a bit. As he's going to take that soul. And as he snaps his fingers, a box falls from the sky. Poof, and he throws the soul into the box. It hits and flames erupt in pink and yellow into a column in the, into the sky as the Notably box of chaos. Dickless. Yes, okay, yes. I was gonna ask. I was gonna yeah. ask. just I no was good, good detail. Good detail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, where did that go? Into the Would box. Would you like to know? I mean, yeah, I'm asking. <laughs> oh, we have no idea. It just disappeared. It was really hard to find anyway the first time. Shadow King just in a box put that, to show. Put that one in yeah. my pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> save that for later. <laughs> Throw that on the grill. You can use the box of chaos as a free action. If you make a sacrifice to it, you can get a magic item in return. Sacrifice. Any sacrifice, we don't care. It could be your eyelash, or your opponent, or pieces of your opponent, or some sand. It doesn't matter, but what you give may impact what you get out. Or not at all, we don't know. Okay, that's an interesting thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we are uh, top of the third round, if I believe. Let's kick it off with round Number three, misery. You keep talking about friendship. Friendship here, there, it saves you. Yeah. But have you ever had friendship wielded against you? Do you know what it feels like to sting, to feel the sting of betrayal? To know what it feels like to look into the eyes of someone you loved and know that they never felt it back. Do you know that pain? And as he's, uh, as they speak, they raise their sword and they attack. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, hold up. That <laughs> 22 will do it. Whoa. Yeah, it will. Yeah. yeah, we don't like those ones. Oh, one into a one. Oh, even with the plate. To be fair. And a second attack. Whoa. It is a natural oh, one. Natural one! Oh, okay. So spicy. Excellent. Spice. So spicy. I'm just like so spicy. <laughs> Excellent. As you attack with that natural one, the tears falling down your face, the sand kind of sticking to the wet skin gets in your eyes. It starts to blind you. You are going. You are going to be blinded for your next turn, swinging with disadvantage. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, as Misery finishes the attack and the tears just kind of well up and they can't see anymore, they say, I know that pain. I live by that pain and I hold on to it. It's the only thing that keeps me in this world. All right, that's my turn. Did 
just kind of spin it like, yeah, that that one that that needed to happen. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's all part of my plan. Totally meant to do this. Smooth. <laughs> wow. I mean, here's the thing. It's just really like it's wild. Like, m like right now, misery is blind. Mm hmm. Okay. So if I were to like <laughs> move around a little bit, it, they'd have disadvantage. They wouldn't know. I they didn't know what you know. were doing. I was reading the tongue movement. I'm like, are you gonna try to <laughs> lick it? <laughs> I mean, he, misery wouldn't know <laughs> until they know. <laughs> They would have disadvantage Look, trying to I'm hit doing. you that's if, not what I'm if, doing. if you go. I will not be doing that. Okay. But like I'm just I'm just do I'm like thinking, I'm looking around, I'm like noticing. There's a lot of like this the tears are different. The tears are different. Like there's tears and then there's like tears. <laughs> like cause the sand, it gets everywhere, you know what I mean? Like And I feel like I'm gonna test it a little bit. I'm gonna do one of these. <sighs> Can misery does misery react? What what is what, what is I'm, you, like making them? I didn't touch you. I didn't touch. You. I'm testing the blindness. Okay, let's do this in a legit dice roll. Go ahead and roll me a stealth. Counter no, with you said perception. <laughs> or if you want to do sleight of hand, I guess because it's that sleight of hand or stealth versus perception. Both of these are not great. So now is a great time. Can I get advantage just because I'm being responsible and testing and I already had a feeling that misery is blind. You have your inspiration. <laughs> okay. So now is a great time to let folks know that uh, you know how fighters get like two fighting styles? No, don't even. You can't. <laughs> and so my second fighting style is blind fighting. There you go. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Good choice. This is, this is. I'm gonna get ready. <laughs> this is Foidalizer. What are you talking about? What are you can't be like that. Perfect. That's I how, love that's it. That's how Daisy really sounds when she gets mad. Okay, you know what? I'm playing your game though. I'm playing your little game. I'm gonna play your little game. You can I roll your perception anyways, hand. just to. Whoa! Just to, it's sure. a four. It's a goddamn four. It's a four. Hey, <laughs> we tie on fours. <laughs> she does it, help. and you see it. Yeah. It's fine though because it like wasn't an attack. It was just me doing a little test. Yep. Do you and react to do you react to it? Misery? No, just tears. <laughs> you tears. didn't even know what it was. Pain. People were like, what is that? <laughs> so they don't react to it, so as far as you know, blind. Okay. <laughs> well, because you yeah. said that. Because you said that, like I I have to do what I was going to do because I think misery might be blind. Um, and so I'm going to do like a flip, <laughs> like a really cool one, like, like an nice. acrobatic little, like, and I know what you're thinking now. You're like, Oh, you should roll acrobatics for that. But like, just let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> and like, like I did it. And then I'm behind misery. Um, And I'm gonna try. Okay, I was gonna do something weirder, but like actually, I'm gonna. And yeah, I did make the noise too. <sighs> but <laughs> I'm gonna warhammer misery. Okay. All right. From the back. You're gonna try to warhammer him him from the it. back. Some people enjoy that. We'll find out if misery does. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing that and uh, just like don't forget that I'm allowed to do two war hammers at once So mm -hmm. yep. Pow! I'm looking for the but I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking for the button traffic traffic looking for my chapstick there it is <laughs> Whoa, it's an 11 <laughs> Six 16 Actually. Oh no, it's good, it's good, it's good That'll be a glancing blow, <laughs> half damage As you yeah. tie the AC So now I can finally, that's the first damage I've done everyone Yeah! She did it! <laughs> no way to stop No, you did one earlier it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah it's cool. This is the first time you've done it without hurting yourself though I'm Really <laughs> proud, super proud Every day we We're also better. proud Every day we get better guys, every day Sorry. You can do it too Um. All right. 
Okay, so I did that. Roll the damage on it. Oh, you're right. I could do that too. It doesn't have the little thingy. It has a button in the chat. <laughs> It doesn't have the little. No, she's it not done damage this entire oh, time. Oh, it's like on it's on top. It's yeah, on it's top. in the. It... <laughs> Why would they do it like that? So and it's only two little pieces. It'll actually be one since it was a glancing blow, half damage. <laughs> it's so, so lame. <laughs> it's a war hammer. <laughs> one point of damage. Would, the style would be cooler than that. Even <laughs> though it's from behind, like it should hit a little harder. You know what I mean? Like, but it just oh. hits different from back there. You give a you swing it again. Um. Okay. What if? Let me let me see how you feel about it. That was an attack. So mm -hmm. like I got it. Can't be doing crazy. Can't be doing all kinds of stuff. If I do it again, I'm still allowed to have a bonus action, right? Yes. Yes. You have I'm two not attacks playing anymore. for action. This yeah. is about preservation. Okay. I can have my attack. I'm gonna do one more mm -hmm. because I saw that one and I was like, mm, okay, we could do better. And then we did it. And you did do better. Uh, we did a little bit better. 18's gonna and do And then, it. hey. Whoa. And now I'm like, I'm back there and I'm like, <laughs> now you see me. Now you don't. <laughs> oh, wait. Isn't one more that reversed? Like, you no, didn't see me, and now you do? No, because I was like, you saw me, and, like, before I did all this, and now it's like, oh, you didn't know I was back here? Uh, amazing. Magic. Close-up magic. And... <laughs> David Blaine. <laughs> it is close-up. And now I'm behind you, and you're like, how could that happen? How could you get back there so quickly? Do and you I'm actually gonna do... do that misery? Uh, no, but I was thinking that before the stream was... <laughs> The first costume I put on was shirtless, open vest, and my partner was like, respectfully, that's too Chris Angel. You need to dial this back. <laughs> <laughs> respectfully, no. Uh, like, there's no if such you thing ever as find Chris Angel. Going down that road, <laughs> you keep going. Sorry. Would Chris Angel <laughs> dial it back? Listen, Chris Angel didn't take it far enough. If you ask me. Uh, no, he did. Lessons he learned. Did. I he feel definitely like you heard did. that, and now you're gonna regret what you put out into the universe. <laughs> Listen, let's be clear. This is not a Chris Angel place, okay? We are strictly David Copperfield obviously, only. Obviously. Whoa! Mm -hmm. I'm pausing the show. Why? You have to explain yourself. He's amazing. That's okay, what's wrong magic with is Chris? important. No, no. David Chris is Copperfield. A hack. Magic is great and all the illusion of it, but he knows how to tell a story. He tells a goddamn good Chris story Angel that makes you can feel tell a goddamn story. No, Here's the his thing. story is like fire. Deep. Fire is not a story. That's an element. Fire is an incredible story, but That's it's not, not even just that. It's not even just that. Chris Angel has like three different stories. One of them is motorcycles, and the <laughs> other one is just saying mind freak 37 times in a row and like looking like the guy from Creed. It's true. I mean, but listen, it really, that's a story. Chris Angel is made by the quick cuts, though. You know what I mean? Like it's... I fireball you for three points of damage. <laughs> Fine. This is strictly a David Copperfield, and I will heal you. Know what? You know what? Mind freak, and I disappear, and I show up somewhere <laughs> else. You don't even understand how I did it. <laughs> My hair's coming off. I'm so. I'm just so. Mind freak. And then I, I, I open my mouth, and the fireball comes back out. And then it hits you. Whatever you say, thanks to me and. <laughs> is, sure. Is, is, my, is mind freaking your, your bonus action? Or? Yeah. yeah. Mind freak is like the. That's what he says. Yeah, yeah. I'm just asking, is mind freaking your bonus action? or? Oh my god, no. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait. Don't. Chris Angel, help me! Chris Angel. Chris Angel can't I hear you I here. Can't. You're not. He's not your patron. Stop I'm it. Paladin. Oh my God. Yeah, you are. Oh, and I didn't tell you what my religion was yet. <laughs> so was Chris Angel. Oh, shit. So when you when you look at misery, are you like more in line because of that? <laughs> because of how misery looks? Or like, I feel like if I said also. that, like, I feel like misery would be like, oh, I love Chris Angel. So misery, the one thing you like love. Angel? misery doesn't like anything. I thought we've been through this. Misery Except is Chris like Angel. Me, but I do love Chris Angel. Like a lot. Like, oh, Chris, I have a, I have a really cool poster in my apartment of Chris Angel. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Chris Angel and a motorcycle. All right, you, got, you gotta this. take a bonus action. You gotta, you gotta move. Fine, it's sanctuary as I go down on my knees behind misery okay. and pray to Chris Angel. Okay. What are you getting from that sanctuary? So weird for anybody watching this. They're like, what? Like, cause you're if you like kneel behind a person, it's just like, and I'm doing this, and like, who knows what will happen next? That thing. <laughs> oh, like nar. Yeah. What what is that the thing. jutsu called for it? No, it's not. It's like a real thing that real people do to to each other. Oh, yeah. Like just a shitty. For fun. <laughs> All right. Like a friend thing. It's a friend thing. That's why I can do it. <laughs> His friends do it. I think. I don't know. It doesn't seem very friendly, but I'm. Friends do it to friends. Seventeen grandmasters. Notice. Like, Y'all know, know what I'm to talking get out of about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. There's people in the chat that are like only on Team David Copperfield, and I'm <laughs> freaked out by this. That is why they are here because we are strictly Team David Copperfield. But enough of this. I want you all to know that yes, while on top of the box of chaos that is here, that you may get some sort of goodie as a free action, should you be able to get to it. But in addition to that, by the grace of our David Copperfield fans, both no. of you have been gifted hero points, which means you can go above and beyond, plus ultra, super saiyan, dream big, and we'll give you the chance to roll for some major type of damage. So don't hold back. And before anything else happens, as a small reminder with the hero points, you can use it for whatever you'd like. Just remember that you should use it before you die. Anyway. Which is going to be soon for some of us. Yes, probably within the next 30 minutes, according to my plan. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> if Chris Angel shows up. What round are we on? Round number four! Excellent. So, Misery, having been through a whirlwind of motions here, uh, I think it's obvious at this point that uh, Daisy knows that Misery has blind fighting. Um, doesn't need to Maybe. see for up close Maybe. fights like this. Um, but I believe that chest is within 10 feet, so Misery is aware of it. Mm -hmm. Misery drags that great sword over to the chest and still talking to uh, Daisy says, there's so much pain can bring. It can ground you, it can center you. It can make you feel like you're still alive. In fact, sometimes it's the only thing you can feel to know you're alive. And uh, he he looks at the box and he just puts his face over it and he continues to cry and the tears fall into the box. And there's a flashback and you can see that one of those kids that was in one of the flashbacks, um, Misery, maybe not Misery at the time, you know, is laughing and they're running towards each other. There's a hug. And then there's like that silhouette, like a knife going through someone. And then you see Misery cop out blood. And then it goes back to, goes back to where we are. And the tears are flowing. Roll me a D10. Yeah. Oh, there's the shivers. 10. Roll me a D100. Let's do that. Oh man! <laughs> What's even happening? Are you gonna stab a kid? Fifty-six. That, that's the flash. <laughs> we don't just keep children in the box. <laughs> there are they're all adults. There's Gator and Blissful and Vegeta and Scrib and no, you can't just. You can stab one of them though. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you okay. can stab one of them. They're just souls. As, <laughs> as that you cry into this box, the, you see two yellow eyes and a clawy hand reach up from the inside. What the? What? Why are you? What the fuck is it raining? What? what? It's gonna slam the lid shut, and the box is gonna begin to rumble, and then the lid will flip open, and that column of heatless fire shoots into the sky, yellow and pink. And out of the box, a shadowy hand giving you a new sword as into what? your hands, a Vorpal sword <gasps> on no. a crit. 
it decapitates. This is dangerous in a fighter champion's hands. It is a he has a Vorpal greatsword. <gasps> Describe as the sword floats towards you what it looks like as it begins to morph, matching your essence and style. Not Chris so, Angel. So oh, as the sword descends and still looking with blinded eyes at Daisy, Misery reaches out and grabs the hilt of the blade. And then a cloud of butterflies passes through and all of them land on top of the sword. They, they land on the sheen of what it is. And then slowly they all kind of meld into it. And now the sword doesn't take that sheen of steel. It doesn't have that metallic look. It looks like void, negativity. There's nothing there. It's a blade of nothingness as if it was cut out of reality. Nice. And Misery looks to Daisy and says, when there's nothing left, when you can't feel pain anymore, you become the most dangerous thing in the world. You become a monster. Do you understand now? Mm, I mean, <laughs> we could still be monsters together. As long as we're together. Then the lesson continues. Your uh, okay. your Vorpal Greatsword is on your character sheet in Foundry now. Yeah, Excellent. I want that sword. <laughs> Misery steps oh. forward and still blinded, makes an attack. <laughs> oh, but that's not where I am. That's not where I am. Oh, is it not? <laughs> oh, the... <laughs> I didn't move myself. <laughs> oh, no, no worries, no worries. For the essence of... Wait, hold on. Where do you want to be? I forgot Don't worry that, about like... Moving. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm behind you doing this. Like, I'm on the ground. Chris Angel, please. Chris Angel, help me. Chris Angel. So even better, technically, than Daisy Bloom is, as described, of sorts, kneeling on the ground and will make it harder for herself to move out of the way. <laughs> Unless I roll. <laughs> roll. So She's I believe I, be I need a wisdom save to, to get through Sanctuary. Yes, you do. You do. You do. Let's do that. Ooh. You know what? I think now's the time. And I'm gonna become indomitable. Why? I'm, I'm tired of failing saves. I use indomitable. I'm gonna try this again. What? No. Hey now. Hey You're now. Nope. Hey now. No, 14's ah. not gonna you know, do it. This is what dreams. Okay. This okay. is what dreams are made of. Okay, so you missed two times. Yep, just can't attack. Chris Angel, you. thank you. Okay. All right, that's it. That's it. Um, I saw that and I was definitely surprised by it because I was like, whoa, I thought you were blind and it kind of feels weird that you would lie about that. But like, here we <laughs> are. And obviously you can see me. You have missed me two times praying to God, uh, AKA Chris Angel was obviously the right thing to do. Feeling really big about it. Um, gonna do like a, forward roll is that a uh, question under, yeah sure. it's always a question when you're over 30 and you choose to do something like that but <laughs> here we are gonna do a forward roll so that i can once again be not in front of you and while i go i'm gonna do my like w double war hammers all right on you all right as i go under and i think we all know if there's anything about. yeah if there's anything hanging to be hit i don't know i'm not i don't want to me either we misery? can't know anything about misery as an entity what what even is misery do you ask Think misery about that? that no <laughs> absolutely not mm -hmm. okay i, th I think a warhammer to the pelvis is gonna hurt regardless i don't know <laughs> maybe, not, maybe not but either way i'm doing it as i roll kind of like if a wheel had more hammers on it, it would be me. So here they go. And I'm forward rolling, I'm forward rolling, and um, be -do 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 -do. oh, okay, Lancing wow. Lancing blow, half damage. We'll do it, we'll do it. Half is better than no. <laughs> Good math. That's kind of like how we're rolling, and I'm gonna do another one, and oh, these are hurting me more than they're hurting you, but let's mm. press the, 
What? Well, give me the D. It's not a lot. As a reminder, you have inspo. Five Wait. points of damage on the half for that first strike. I keep strike. forgetting that I have that. You can throw the inspo on that second hit if you want. Let me. How do you do it here? Just how do you uh, do roll it here? a D six on the on the bottom. Okay, let me throw down. Please, Chris Angel. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Las Vegas, what is that? Hey, <laughs> all right. 18 total, little hit. Roll a second damage. <laughs> if we were just friends, this could all stop. <laughs> but maybe it wouldn't. Um, just gonna refresh that sanctuary real quick. Zang. Hey, you, Chris. Did you roll a this second, uh, second set of damage? Where was it? It's hidden. There's like piles. There's piles. Should be wherever your warhammer is in the chat. I, think I don't you'll have to roll up to the one where you rolled for a 16. I think you hit the damage for the 14. I don't have one for that one. Here, we'll just uh, we'll just do it this way. It's manual. Yeah. Please, yeah. Chris Angel, help. Here, I'll just roll again for you. There's he not a button no for help. that one. He's well, trash. I'll, you know what? Here. Like, just, I'll do it there. It's too bad because hey, ooh, he's, coming nine. Through. he's coming through. He's coming through. Nine more points of blood. You know who damage. was riding those Warhammers? It was Chris. Chris, where are you? Chris is in the house tonight. You know who was rolling the damage? Three. It was the Shadow King. <laughs> <laughs> who was possessed by Chris Angel. How did he do it? How did he do it? Mind freak. Mind freak. How, how are you I'm so sure that I'm not Chris Angel? I'm supporting Chris Angel right now. Has anyone ever seen I'm me and Chris Angel in the same place? I hope yeah. your backwards robe strangles you. <laughs> it can't because the string's not long enough. <laughs> 17 It looks like Super Naruto, though, to wear a bathrobe backwards. <laughs> it does. This is like, this is very Gara. <laughs> From the Gara collection. <laughs> oh Ooh, you one that. of my real hairs is coming out right now that's how that's how like broken <laughs> this whole situation this is, is. actually i was getting gara vibes from misery <laughs> yeah to be fair mm -hmm. but you put it's it, like it's just evolving you put us in it's a evolving. sand arena what are you gonna do it happens what are you natural gonna do? it's natural what are you breathing. gonna do what are you well, gonna do I I'm probably just gonna have us move on to the next thing. Fair. <laughs> Where are we at with this? I've lost track. You all are. I rolled really a good 17 at, at the end of the so round. 17. The damage, right? Cool. Anything else for your turn after you do? No, your because reading? I already did. I already right. said I sanctuaried. Yep. <laughs> sanctuaried. So, forever. End of the round. Then 17 on my roll. 17. That is enough. That is enough, Shadow King. You do what you must do in this moment. Let the sands of time be very unkind to you. Yeah. The Shadow King stands up. Oh, let's see Chris Angel do this. He's gonna snap his fingers and the sand in this place is gonna start to whirl and just creating a vacuum and a tornado around both of you the oxygen in this place is now being slowly sucked out as that vortex whips around the battlefield every single round you will have to make a constitution saving throw yes. to see how you are going to survive with less and less oxygen so roll me a first constitution saving throw please both of you i don't know why i was so initially excited by that but <laughs> sounds great on paper and for a minute, I was like, oh, this is good. This is going to be cool. Dang! 25. Misery with 20 18. freaking five! All right. You, oh, that's not allowed. You'll both succeed taking four 18. points of damage. Oh, no. You got half damage on it. I guess, but... You only suffocated a little bit. Bro, some of us are down here in the 30s of HP, baby. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess you'll have to kill him fast then. Round number five! Misery. Tricks. His foolishness. Trying to garner some kind of joy out of life. There's nothing at the end of this. You all must realize that, Misery says to the entire crowd. There's nothing at the end of this. It's all... 
and I'm gonna go and try to break that sanctuary. Do it. Do it. You can try. But Chris is in the house tonight. Chris, the power of Chris compels. Do it. <laughs> oh, That's no. it. Oh. Okay. Fair. All right. So we're gonna start off with some vorpal blade here. So that <clears throat> that void blade, I think, comes down and. Let's roll that very special weapon here. Nineteen. So no, let's what just the do. As what a the small frog? note, a reminder: you both still have hero points, which allows you to do anything in a particular moment. Anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything. A chance to do anything. Anything. Get wild. A chance to do anything. <laughs> 16 so, points of slashing, right? So, yeah, 16 points of slashing. Okay. Second Vorpal Blade here. Jeez, what? Well, two of them, blah, it's not even, it's like... Blah. 20 will hit. Then, oh, let's roll the damage. How can you be doing this? Chris All Angel, right. where are you at? Let's go ahead and Axe and Surge here. <laughs> so let's do another for Vorpal Sword. No! Let's roll that damage. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna. Oh. I'm fishing for something here, is what I'm doing. <laughs> Can't get it. But. Daisy, you still have a hero point. Are you gonna use that at any I know. point? I can use it whenever I want. Whenever yes. you want. 11 do, points of damage. I can try to do anything. Yes. 11 points okay. is coming your way. Okay, I'm going to use it. Okay, what do you do? You, okay, I'm going to like let you know, and you can decide if this is something that you want to <laughs> be a part wild. of. Get wild, go for it. <laughs> that's that's okay. exactly how we imagine this. Well, here's you the thing. You do not own the rights so, of Chris Angel, so. <laughs> well, you don't, but you know what we do own the rights to? moth carnage um and we could i still have the ability to find steed and the way that this works for me is like janet was not the only steed okay i reach into the void and i'm pulling out different people all the time and so it's like today it was janet but like tomorrow it could be steven we don't know is there any relation to this steve we're not sure not all Stevens, Steves, Steve, PH. We don't know. They're not the same. They don't all know each other. It could be a Steven. It could It could be another Janet. We don't know. But I'm going to find another Steve. But I'm doing it different this time. Because the portal this time is me. And, like, when I do this, like, to find the Steve. But I do it over my own mouth. And that's because I'm going to summon the Steve within my body. And let it break through my own flesh. And I'm going to become the moth. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just gonna like the steed gets summoned, but it like it's gonna like like the little arms are gonna rip through my like torso and rib cage, and the wings are gonna like spear out and then unfurl from my back, and there's like even gonna be antenna, but they're gonna come out of my ear because skulls are hard, uh, and I'm gonna get like real like weird hair. I'm gonna and I glow. Here's, here's a nature glow. check. Maybe we don't know. Yeah, yeah. Give me a nature check. I mean, you're using hero points, so I think. Okay. I mean, let me just see what this is. With a twelve. <laughs> With a twelve. You, you are no, no, no. That's okay. I was just determining how mothish you are in terms of percentage. So you are twelve percent moth. So yes, as it begins to come out of you, it almost of sorts blooms out of you oh, yeah. kind of coming over you as your eyes now expand giving that big old glassy look prismed across your ears stretch out further giving those long antennas and your hair becomes fluffier like all moths are cute and soft and so you have these giant beautiful wings that burst from your back but you still do have your legs, and I will give you slightly shorter arms. <laughs> Wait, I've got like people legs? Yeah, you have people legs. <laughs> Gross. Moth, moth on top. 
<laughs> since you human are human on bottom. <laughs> okay, I've got are, it. That, I can work with that. You're summoning steed. I'm gonna throw on the HP from your steed, and yeah, then nice. <laughs> and then, but you had twenty. 20 it was 11 and 16 right 27 points of damage coming in still from those hits unfreaking believable so you are still up barely okay let me know when i can do another thing all right so with daisy maybe dead now unclear unclear what's unclear. happening here but unclear. Mis misery just kind of like breathes in as like the viscera like you exploded out of the body right shouldn't be doing that just takes a deep breath as the the, the the storm is going around now it's getting gross um i'm gonna use second wind and as we do um you know there's a flashback as as misery takes in what little air is left and that same flashback of that knife plunging through the back and misery coughing out blood there's like a a, a flash and you see Misery's eyes glow bright. You see wings sprout out of their back. And then as they do, and they kind of bloom out, no. that chi that friend head in the silhouette slides off Please. and just falls to the ground. No. I'm going to take my second win now. 1d10 plus 10. Let's we'll get a good old... Hey, that's not bad. 18 hit points. Dang. That's my turn. Daisy, you're on the edge. Okay, so I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of thought that move was going to kill me and I'm still here. And that's definitely like, oh, what are we going to do now? And that's fine because what I am going to do is this is new. Like, I can actually, I'm like, I've got moth benefits and human benefits at the same time. This is a great time to be alive. Things are going well. Um, I'm super excited. I'm up. I'm like, even though we're in a tornado, that's fine. That's kind of how it is. I have one hit point left. Um, I'm going to take flight like a little bit more than I already am. <laughs> that's the noise. <laughs> and with my incredible human legs which are extremely strong uh lower body strength for the win pa -pa, peloton um <laughs> i feel like i have one of those in my in my like in my better daisy life um sure sure as the beacon you can afford one probably yeah and so i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab misery with my strapping thighs and I can only do this because of my moth powers. I'm floating in the air. And like, I'm also kind of like really vibing with this new, this transformation that's happening. And I'm like, really wish I didn't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna like fly up and like thigh choke misery and try to like, uh, like snap their neck. And I could probably use like unarmed strike for that or something else unknown, but this is, definitely unarmed i am not using my arms for this because i'm like <laughs> nice this is a late yeah thank you thank you uh you can take my one hit point away for that if you want but this is a choke out go ahead i've never heard anyone interpret it that way but yes that is a legitimate unarmed strike thank you for that thank you and so for that reason i think i should definitely be allowed to do it make an unarmed strike sure <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no reason you can't. And like the thing that you need to know as I'm doing this, like this could kill me too. I have one hit point left and I'm just like wildly like thrusting because I, if I'm going to break your neck, like I have to, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm trying for it, but it could snap my neck too. Like we don't know. Wish you wouldn't have said thrusting. We're picturing this where your thighs yeah. are right around. Roll, no, the, roll the unarmed strike. <laughs> <laughs> See hey. what you want to see. see 24 see. will hit. 24 will hit, Woo! baby. Yes! And then in my, like, deep moth voice, because things are different now, it happens, puberty, I'm going to be like, friends forever! <laughs> you, know, you know what? Give me a... 
Give me a constitution saving throw, Misery, to see how strong your neck is. My neck? No, no Misery. Nope, you're not think, talking to me. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> neck strength. Yeah, classic D&D roll. Yeah, constitution saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 10 is a double digit, though. So it's like... <laughs> I, I think with a, I think with a ten, your neck doesn't break from this. <laughs> what on the plus half? side? That was close half? though. That was close. That was it, close. It starts to creak. Get a vertebrae or two. Okay. Like half. Yeah. Like half. Yeah. Okay. Not able to quite rip the head off though. Yeah. But like, no, if you want to stab me now, like you'd have to be like. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, be caught in that endless chiropractor cycle now. This is like a maybe yeah. a fate worse than death, to be quite honest. <laughs> Actually, it, is it? I I agree because while I'm doing this, like my moth dust is like in your mouth and your nose and your eyes and everything. It's musty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I am but maybe you don't care because like we're kind of the same. Okay, well, uh, I think that's the end of the round. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Probably. <sighs> I think that's a good ending for that. Good, good. Uh, another yeah. roll from you, dear Shadow King. And I don't know how much recap. longer I can keep this up. I've got one hit point, people. Like, just know it. One hit point. We see the 19 on the field as we wrap up this round number five. One HP for you. Misery, you are high up in the sky. You are essentially trying to be strangled in this moment. And I believe you still also have your hero point as we go into round number six. You held on to it for so long. So long. Friendship fueled you. But it's a well that runs dry in so little time. Sands, like I said, in our fingertips. Friends, allies, meaningless in the grand scheme. At the end of the day, we're just people clawing our way to the top, killing each other, hurting each other. It's in our nature. Uh, so I'm being grappled, is it? Yeah. Your hands are free. I suppose yes. so. <laughs> okay, let's just make that. Let's just start with the attack. I'm going to start with a regular attack here. My hands are free too, so you better watch out. I don't try to hold yours. Oh, <laughs> not great. <laughs> 14. 14. No bueno. No bueno. One more. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That'll do it. I would like to spend my hero point. Yeah. Yes. It is, it is an absolute shame I haven't rolled a critical with this, with this blade. I would like to use my hero point to turn that into a crit. Oh, no. Yeah, I think so. I think that'll work. Yeah. yeah, I think that definitely works. You can do that. So, uh, obviously, Vorpal Blades do something very special, and you're at one hit point. So, I'm going to say that... It probably works. <laughs> misery. There's like, a, there's like a trail of viscera and stuff as we continue to fly through the air. And Misery looks Delicious. to this moth and just looks at them, and a hand comes up and holds their head in place. And Misery says, I envied you. You lived a life with so much joy and happiness. You didn't need to know the pain that I go through, the pain that I can never forget, the pain that fuels me. I hope that this was as painless as I thought it was. You didn't deserve pain. You didn't deserve this. And Misery kind of guides the moth back down. And then he embraces the moth and walks away. And then in that silhouette, you see the head of the moth just kind of stay in place and just fall off. <gasps> There's another flashback and Misery is standing um, at what is clearly a grave, a great sword dug in the ground with a freshly dug grave and memorabilia on the hilt. And you can see Misery has been bandaged up in the gut. And Misery stands up, places one hand on this hilt, and pulls it out of the ground and walks off into a sunset. And we're back. And Misery's still holding on to that moth and looks up. Then it's done, isn't it? Yes. Uh, well, 
<laughs> no, because Chris Angel jumps out of the corpse. That would be <laughs> oh no! Chris Angel! Uh, the real the, the real enemy was inside. Oh. Uh. I suppose it is. Uh, uh, are you you satisfied with this? What kind of question? No, I'm not satisfied. Please do not take my melon. Promises. Cut death away from me. A deal is a deal. Well, what is it you want then? I want to swap places with him. Put me in the ground and give him a life. He was always better than me. He was everything to me. He deserves to live. I'm... Well. I'm not valuable anymore. I don't see why I can't accommodate as the Shadow King pff, kind of disappears into the shadow is thrown and pff, right in front of you out of the shadows on the ground. Well, if it's in the ground you want to go, he stomps in his foot and from the ground, pff, the, the earth begins to move and out of the, the earth, a coffin made of stone and the lid slides off. The Shadow King, looking at you and smiling for a moment, reaches out a hand, throwing you into that coffin, sealing the lid and burying it into the ground in one magical motion. <laughs> Mind freak. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Just before the coffin closes, Misery's still crying, the tears still dreaming down. Misery smiles for the first time he has ever smiled in years, decades, time in the morning. Welcome and good night to D20 Duck Match!